have to excuse the sound of my dehydrator. I have uh, mushrooms in there dehydrating. This is dandelions that I just picked to make dandelion tea. Um, it is made the exact same way as the red bud jelly. Um, all the ingredients, the amounts, everything is the same. So I usually make it in like a half of a recipe. So this is roughly half of a bag of dandelion blossoms. What you have to watch is, as you're out collecting these, they will actually compress down. This bag probably weighs a pound, maybe slightly more, um, but that's roughly, you know, half of a Ziploc bag when they're not compressed. And so what we're going to do, I'm going to boil water. I'm going to pour the boiling water over this. I'm going to use a plate to hold them down. And I'm going to let that sit um, until it gets to room temperature. So it's going to be three or four hours, maybe longer. Once it gets to room temperature, I'm then going to cover the bowl up. Stick it in the refrigerator for 24 hours. So if you need a refresher on how to make this, I'll link to the red bud jelly recipe. It's made the exact same way, same ingredients. Because I'm doing it in half though, instead of using eight cups of sugar, I'm only going to use four. Instead of using um, four uh, halo oranges or two large regular oranges, I'm only going to use two halos. Um, and instead of using two boxes of pectin, I'm only going to use one. Also, instead of it making uh, 24 four ounce jars, it's only going to make 12 four ounce jars, which comes out to about one and a half quarts. You could probably, um, you could probably squeeze it out to two quarts if you wanted to add more water and a little bit more sugar and, you know, a little bit more pectin and that sort of thing. But I try to keep everything in like, Either I'm making the full recipe or I'm making half of the recipes just because it's easier to add up. So I've added the dandelions to a bowl and a lot of recipes or some people will say to remove the green stem part of the flower. Um, it literally takes hundreds of dandelions to make dandelion tea. Um, they usually recommend that you use scissors and clip off the base and then that removes the leaves. However, you'll notice in every one of those recipes and the pictures and the videos that they still have leaves in with their dandelion mix. So, um, the whole entire plant of a dandelion is edible. The stem, the leaves, the flower, the roots, everything is edible. Um, Whenever I've made dandelion jelly or dandelion wine or used dandelion in recipes, I've never removed the stems or the green parts. Now, when I pick the dandelions, I try. Uh, they, they actually will close up pretty quick once you pick them too. That's why they look different. So I try to always just pick the head, but sometimes I'll get a stem. You can actually see a couple in here. But for the most part, I only have the bloom and the green leaves. So when it gets down to this, I just call it good. I'm not going to spend time to clip off the green to remove all the stems because it's edible. If it's going to change the flavor a little bit, so be it, but it will still be acceptably good and everybody's going to love it. So I have them in a bowl waiting on the water to boil, which I've got going over here. Water getting ready to boil. Um, I always, as I mentioned in the red bud recipe, I always add more water than it calls for. So normally you want a finished, for the red bud jelly, you wanted a finished eight cups. I actually put nine or ten in there. For this one, you want a finished four cups. I put six in there because it's half the recipe. So, um... I've got six cups of water in here. Some of it's going to boil off. Also, some of it's going to stay remained on the dandelions when you strain it the next day. So, just a little bit extra water doesn't hurt anything. You also want the water to be enough to cover your dandelions. 
If it doesn't cover the dandelions, you don't have enough water already. Um, if that's the case, what you'll have to do, don't add cold water to it, but go back and boil more water so that that way all of your dandelions are covered. So once your water is at a rolling boil, now's the time. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I'm probably going to end up spilling it everywhere, burning myself or something like that. Usually I can pick this pan up one-handed. So once it's at a rolling boil, now you're going to dump the water in with the dandelions. Once you have that done, once you have that done, you're going to take a plate, place it over the top of the dandelions. What that does is submerges them in the hot water, keeps them under the water. I usually take my fingers and kind of push down a little bit just to make sure that they're submerged. I look on the sides. As long as there's no dandelions sticking up around the edge of your plate, you should be good so now I'm gonna let this cool to room temperature which is gonna take three or four maybe five hours and once that's done I'm gonna seal this bowl up with the lid leave the plate in it and stick it in the refrigerator for 24 hours